Hi guys, I just thought I'd put a little video together to show you how to set up your PowerPoint slide um, when you're preparing your research posters. Ultimately, of course, you won't be submitting a PowerPoint slide, you'll be submitting a PDF um, and you'll be getting the PDF printed. But this is how you build it. So start off with your um, blank PowerPoint slide. Um, just clicking on the slide and I'm hitting Control and A to select everything there and deleting it. Next, I want to get my dimensions right. So I open up a web page that has the dimensions for, let's say, AO paper or A0. Um, and I go to my design tab here at the top and I can do my slide size. And then I click down to custom slide size. Now I want it to be in landscape, in other words, so it needs to be wider than it is tall. So from the web site, I can see that A0 paper is 1189 millimeters wide. So I want that to be 1189, which is 118.9 centimeters. And A0 paper is uh, 841 mil high. So that's 84.1 centimeters. And I want to, I'm saying maximize it. And that's it. I now have my slide set at the right dimensions for A0. And you'll notice that down in the bottom right, it's showing that that's 20% zoom. In other words, it is five times smaller than it will be in reality when printed. So you might find it a little bit tricky to um, work on that. When you start putting in text, it'll appear tiny. So if you want to see how big the text is going to look, you will zoom in to 100% and that will give you an idea of what the text will look like when it's finally printed. But when you're working on the computer screen, it's difficult to get that uh, sense. Um, so I've, I will produce uh, some examples of font size when printed and show them to you. So that's if you wanted to set up for AO, which is the <coughs> desirable one. If you wanted to set it up for A1, Again, it's the same. So A1 is 84.1 mil or 84.1 centimeters wide, and the height for A1 is 59.4 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to be maximizing it, and that would be for A1. As I say, please please go for AO if you can. You can also change the color of your background there on that design by clicking format background and I can choose solid fill and I could put any color there if I want to put it on a kind of blue or I can make a kind of orange whatever you want but I think a little bit of background color will be good in order to set off the text boxes and in a separate video I'll show you how to create text boxes how to align them and yeah, then add text in, in an appropriate size font. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's just setting up the slide. And then obviously we'll save that to wherever you want it to go. And in the end, we'll save it as a PDF. I can show you how to do that. So to save as a PDF, you would just go up to File, click Save As. Let's say I wanted to save it in to my desktop just for argument's sake for demonstration purposes, whatever I decided to call it, I could then just go down to the Save As Type dialog box and I would save that as a PDF. But that would be only when I'm finished everything, when I'm ready to go to the printer and get the thing printed, I would save as a PDF. Other than that, I'd be just saving it as a PowerPoint presentation whilst I'm working on that. Okay, so that's how to set up your page, how to change the background color. Okay, I'll give you some more videos on adding text boxes and so on.